What's up guys, Ryan here. So today I'm having a little bit of fun with my video. They just re-released World of Warcraft uh, Classic and there's a lot of like nostalgia going around with people that played the game back in the day, like I definitely played back then, um, wanting to jump back into the game. Uh, because today, prior to them re-releasing the old game, you essentially were playing like 10 years, I think, or so of like patches and the game kind of progressing and uh, changing and morphing into almost a different game. So why not celebrate by reminiscing about ways that I made money playing computer games, specifically World of Warcraft. So the first way, and I'm going to elaborate a little bit about my time playing towards the end of the video because I know probably most people don't care. But um, the first way that I made money playing World of Warcraft was I would sell my accounts. I'd build them up and then do things, you know, it wasn't just that like I played and got the character to the max level and then sold it because you'd be getting a terrible return on investment. But I would do things like achieve really high um, titles and achievements in player versus player, meaning I'd, you know, part of World of Warcraft is slaying the online digital dragons. The other half is playing against real people in the game. And uh, I was actually really great statistically at both. And I'll elaborate more on that later. But I would accomplish something that was hard to do and then sell the accounts and then start over. Um, and that wasn't a great return on investment. But I didn't mind most of the time because I, you know, every now and then you just need a break from the game because it can really absorb your whole life. The second way that I was making truly passive income playing World of Warcraft and... Um, you know, what's funny is that, like, I feel like if you've been watching my videos, it's probably completely believable that I did this if you guys are starting to get a feel for, like, my personality and who I am in real life. But I had essentially a network of accounts, meaning, like, most people think of World of Warcraft, all right, I have my account, let me log in, all right, I'm in the game. Not me. So I had, <laughs> I had eight accounts that I would run. Not, I didn't necessarily run all eight of them simultaneously, but I'd be running at least six of them 24 hours a day using a program called Honor Buddy, which is no longer uh, available. I think they got taken to court too many times by Blizzard because, you know, Blizzard is owned by Activision. Activision's publicly traded and they're doing quite well. They got money to blow on lawyers. And, anyways, Honor Buddy was what I was using. It is no longer available, it's no longer around. I know any of you guys watching this video. 99% of you hate people like me that were botting, um, so I apologize. <laughs> Please don't hit the uh, the dislike button on my video. But anyways, I would just run these bots, and they would fly around the whole world of Warcraft, and uh, and just essentially like go down and pick up the raw materials in the world of Warcraft. So in like the equivalent of real life would be, you know, mining for gold or mining for copper, or mining for silver, things like that. And anyways, the bot would just collect these raw materials. And you could literally set up scripts so that they would collect the raw materials, run to the auction house, which is the way that you would sell through the in-game system. And it was another way that they kind of regulated the in-game economy because they would take a cut of every sale. And my bots would just like go around the world, collect, collect, collect until they were maxed out with how much they could hold. Then they'd go back, go to the auction house, list everything for sale. And then all I had to do was log in a couple times a day, like three times a day about and go to the mailbox and I mean, I had scripts to do almost everything, but go to the mailbox and just hit open everything, hit one button. And then I would just get, you know, I don't even know how tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of gold in game currency. And the way I made money is I would, you know, in a creative way, because you want to kind of avoid detection, but I actually, I'll be honest, there was really no, the blizzard wasn't really trying very hard when I was doing this to uh, sniff out the people because it is against the uh, the game terms to sell in-game currency for real life money, but they weren't really doing too much to prevent it. And I had a network of buyers across something like six different servers who would hit me up. So it got to the, it grew to the point where like, I didn't have to look for buyers. I would just get hit up by people on my friends list that I had done business with before. And um, they would PayPal me some money and I'd give them the in-game money. Uh, it, it couldn't have been easier. And yeah, I mean, it, these opportunities are out there, guys. There's there's plenty of ways to make money online. This one's not like some shifty, uh, super secret thing. Plenty of people were doing it. There's plenty of websites out there um, that are way more formalized, doing the exact same thing that I'm doing, except they have like, you know, the websites to conduct transactions through as opposed to 
me doing it person to person and avoiding paying like additional fees by going through those websites. Um, but anyways, like, yeah, these opportunities are out there. It was just free, you know, like I, I call it free money the way I classify Amazon merch as free money because there's really no risk and all reward if you choose to participate and, um, you know, and, and do it. Anyways, let me spend the last like minute uh, kind of bragging about this screenshot. So this was me uh, basically at the apex of my World of Warcraft playing career at level 70 during the Burning Crusade. Um, I was a gladiator in every single division of the World of Warcraft arena, which is essentially like you played 2v2, 3v3, and 5v5. And this is against real people. And if you were in, I think, the top half of 1%, I think is what it was. Uh, it's been so long. I think it was a top half of 1% ranking wise. Then you achieved the title gladiator. And it was no small feat because it was all relative to the number of people playing. Um, and I ended up doing it in 2v2, 3v3, and 5v5 all in the same season. Uh, giving me that triple gladiator uh, Drake, they were called. And you can see in the screenshot, I have all three in the mailbox. I have the gladiator title. Um, I also did it you playing a mage, which was the second lowest represented class. Um, class meaning like what, you know, you could be a mage, a hunter, a warrior, a priest, paladin, uh, rogue, druid, shaman. Like there's, you know, you only get to choose one class per character. And that's kind of like your vocation that gives you your skills in game and kind of determines what you're able to do. Uh, it was the second lowest statistically represented in the high end arena. So that meant that like basically players playing this class like weren't good enough to do what I did. Statistically speaking, the only one that was uh, lower represented was Hunter. So it was no small feat. Um, I was very proud to have accomplished this. Also, the guild I was in was a top 50 US guild for raiding, which literally just means slaying digital online dragons. We would meet at least three nights a week and uh, just smash our head into our keyboards, uh, trying to learn these scripted encounters. It does seem so ridiculous looking back on it, but it was a great time. You know, they were true friends, and um, you know, we kicked some ass. We slayed some digital dragons. Again, we were top fifty in the United States, which meant that like we had, you know, even in the screenshot, you can see my characters wearing what was the uh, tier six helmet, which essentially you couldn't get unless you were. Um, in the, in like the, it was called the black temple. I don't know. I'm getting, I'm nerding out way too much, but, um, we were able to do things that not many people were able to do in a short period of time, which statistically made us one of the best guilds in the United States. Uh, worldwide is a little bit more competitive, but we were still up there, but top 50 us, that was our claim to fame. I think they're still around. They're still, um, doing really well on the server Andrew hall. So shout out to simple math at simple math And, uh, yeah, that's it. So I, you know, this is just nostalgic for me since they just re-released world of Warcraft to reflect, to think back to those times to, you know, back when life was a lot simpler and me farming gold <laughs> in game by running six accounts simultaneously, not even like cycling the IP addresses using the same computer, doing it while I was at work, while I was asleep, you know, while I was playing. Um, it's just kind of funny looking back. And uh, eventually they did end up like banning my accounts because I think Blizzard decided to take it a little bit more seriously and uh, close people's accounts that were breaking the rules. And I graciously accepted my fate and bowed out. And it appears that the people who created the bot that I was using did so as well, although they might have had some legal ramifications, which ultimately led to their decision. But anyways, guys, thanks for checking out my video. If you made it this long, you must have been playing World of Warcraft back then too. So why don't you go ahead and comment below, like what server did you play on? What class did you uh, did you roll? And did you do any PvP or were you more into PvE? What was your favorite World of Warcraft expansion? Anything, guys. Let's reminisce. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, hit me up below, and I will see you at the next one. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at riotsmethod.com. Thank you.